my name is Kina and I am with the Panel Skin Support Team. In today's video, we are going to go over our various nadir options that are available in Panel Skin, as well as how to add a nadir, how to remove a nadir from a published tour, and how to edit a nadir. So to get started, let's go over our various nadir options that are available in Panel Skin. So when you upload a nadir, there's going to be a number of ways you can do this. But just before you publish, this is where you're going to decide what kind of nadir you would like to add to your tour. The options are a default nadir, which is a stretched blurred nadir, an account level nadir, a tour level nadir, or you can choose not to have a nadir at all. So the difference between your account level and your tour level nadirs are that your account level can be added in settings, and you can use this for any number of tours as a default or you can choose a specific nadir for any number of tours. Either way, you wanna make sure you choose the correct nadir that you would like to have appended to your tour. So to add an account level nadir, you're going to wanna to go over to your account settings, which can be found here, and navigate to the nadir tab. I have already added a panel skin nadir as you can see, but you may always change it by clicking edit nadir and clicking on the picture itself and you'll be prompted to add a new nadir. Or you can remove it, of course. To add a tour level nadir, this can be found in the top toolbar. With this circle icon here, simply click it and you can also add a nadir specific to your tour. Click it to change just as you would do in your account settings or remove it if you want to change it or not have the nadir at all. Make sure you save once you've added your tour level nadir, if that's what you choose to do. And then you're going to decide what kind of nadir you would like to have. In this case, let's go ahead and choose a default, which means that I'm not going to use either of those patches and I'm just gonna have panel skin blur the nadir for me. Perfect. Now that my tour is published, Let's go ahead and take a look at it live on Google. To check it, simply click verify on Google Maps. And you'll see that that scene was published. And let's take a look at our nadir. And as you can see, Panelskin has successfully pushed a blurred nadir to this scene. And everything looks great. Now let's say that I would like to have um, one of my logos here instead and not the blur. We're going to go back into panel skin and to change this, we're going to have to unpublish the tour. It's going to prompt you, would you like to unpublish? Yes. All right, now that we've successfully unpublished that scene, let's go ahead and change our Nadir option. I've selected a tour level nadir in this case and go ahead and publish again. Great, now I've republished my scene with my new tour level nadir. Let's take a look. And as you can see, our tour level nadir has been added to the tour. Now, you may notice over here on the side a gray thumbnail if you've just recently unpublished the tour to change your nadir. That is normal. Google will clear those up over time. It can take 24 hours to 48 hours for Google to clear those up. So now that we've added this nadir, let's say we're not happy with it and we want to remove a nadir altogether. To do this, you're just going to do the same thing. Go back into your tour. and unpublish it again. In that instance, go ahead and select None and republish it. You will find that you no longer have an Adir appended to your tour. In addition, we have also added the ability to resize your Nadir, which has been a long requested feature within Panel Skin, as well as repositioning your Nadir. Both of these options can be found within the publishing step in Panel Skin. 
Repositioning your nadir usually comes in handy if you have an aerial image and you need to repatch the top. However, the bottom is generally the standard for most panoramic images. To resize, 13% is the default within PanoSkin, but you can choose to decrease the size of your nadir logo or enlarge it as well. I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about nadirs within PanelSkin, and as always, we are here if you have any questions for us.